concerning this work where it gives great strength and it's been looked at then a long time ago. Uh, this is popular, this is calling it popular Asia and America. People know it and know that. Sort of like Ben E. John Dean. He says a band called NWA people is basically clean. Uh, for different reasons, I don't know. Good metal. I give him the credit for recording this. I don't listen to it anymore because it's time it's not to me you know, old song in the 80s but it seems to be pop it was done in the studio in their in their studio atmosphere <clears throat> so if you're interested in that song people ask it for it all the time I knew it was going to be one of those songs that come back to haunt me and people would keep asking to hear it uh, but I'm going to promenade to the park here a little bit and and uh, take a quick look as we leave the radio station maybe I'll take a tour in there someday for you and uh, I have this monument where I remember my Uncle James, who fought the Second World War, and my grandfather, who I called Pop. And we're going to look at this monument. Now, 1914-1918, Battle of Cyprus. I uh, hmm, can hardly read that anymore. I guess I'll have to do something with Cambrai. I'll have to do something with that, that side of the monument. Get a good look at the park and everything here. Let's take a quick look. It's quite nice, eh? They keep it nice here. One thing I'll say about the city, at least keeps this part nice. There's a monument across the street. We'll talk about it another time, maybe. This is the one I'm interested in, if you can still hear me. <clears throat> now, the veterans come here sometimes on Veteran Day. And, of course, it goes into this uh, monument is dedicated to uh, war veterans, etc. The men were very good unto us and were not hurt. They were a wall unto us both day and night. In memoriam, requisite in pace. Okay, 1914 was World War I to 1918. That's the one my grandfather, I call Pop, fine. 1939, which he mentions right next to it. World War II to 1945, which was my Uncle James fought in. Across from there, we have this monument, 1950 to 1953, uh, Korea. We now... Still at war with Korea, North Korea, still going on. A lot to say about that. Trump's now uh, trying to make a deal and push the Koreans to get rid of their nukes. Doesn't look like they're going to do that, North Korea. They have memories of the states, and of course China protected them at one point in the past. Now they're Trump's trying to make a deal with China. So we'll see what's going to go on with that war because they have uh, weapons uh, aimed at at Canada and America, which they say had, they don't go anywhere. These weapons, they say, we never know. Uh, of course, and they fired some in Japan in the past. The states is under Japan's under the states protection deals. So uh, I never know what's going to happen there with that North Korean war. That's for sure. We're in that one now as of 2017. So the problems in North Korea haven't ended. Uh, United Nations peacekeepers. We will remember them. It says there, and right next to that, it says Canadian Merchant Navy. And last but not least, there's still a lot of wars not mentioned, Syria and other things, but this is a monument. 2001, Afghanistan to 2011. And a friend of mine who passed away a number of years ago, his son, uh, went to Afghanistan twice, came back a little out of shape, been out of shape after uh, his return. He hasn't gone back since, <clears throat> but he's much better now as far as I understand. His father died, but uh, he was in that war. So anyway, I just thought this uh, monument might be of interest to people. Maybe I talked a little too fast here, but we can see that the uh, North Korean war is, is still going on. We know that one. And of course, we see what's going on in Syria. Um, sad. We don't know what's going to happen out of all this stuff yet. Of course, Russia protects Syria and uh, the states has gone in there. And Putin likes Trump. I don't think Hillary would have been a good idea for Americans. I just don't. Maybe she had some good ideas in the back of her head or whatever, but, you know, Trump was the guy. He's the only one who the Democrats and the uh, Republicans couldn't buy off, I guess, because he's already a billionaire. Has his own agenda. There's no real ideology in Trump. So you can't follow him as far as an ideology goes. People say he's got no depth, but I think he's a man. He does have depth. And he is, a, he is the president, so that's the way it goes. Uh, like it or not. So I just want to point out this monument. And uh, I don't have any political, political take on anything until tell anybody. It's quite nice, the garden here, isn't it? And the Canadian flag. Okay, I'm done.